Ariel Hawani in Detroit for UFC 218 alongside Tisha Torres, who meets Michelle Watterson this Saturday live on pay-per-view. Tisha, good to see you. Big fight coming up on Saturday. And I'm just wondering, when this fight was announced, of course, there was a different champion. Things have changed just a couple weeks ago in New York. Did that change your outlook on the fight? Do you feel different about the stakes going into this one? It definitely just motivated me even more to get in there and get a big win so I can get that even closer to that title shot. Um, you know, me and Rose have shared the ring twice, so it, it just put something in my mind that uh, makes me want it even more. The fact that you fought her twice, that you guys have that history, do you feel like that gets you closer to the belt? Or if Joanna would have beaten her, fresh matchup, that got you closer. What, what do you think? I think either way I have the potential of getting a title shot very soon. I think it just um, depends on me getting, going out there, getting a big win and just putting on a performance. Have you been told what's at stake? Like if you win this fight, you're getting this? No, no I haven't been told anything. Does that matter? No, it doesn't. No. What matters to me is just going out there, impressing myself and just showing myself that I've evolved as a fighter and um, that I really deserve a title shot. Michelle gets a lot of love from the UFC. They push her a lot, right? They, they do a lot of media for her. She's on an MTV reality show. What do you make of that? Do you feel like they want her to win this fight? Um, you know, <laughs> the UFC tends to push a lot of fighters, but when they do that, they, um, they often end up going down. Yeah. So um, you saw that with Paige, and now you see it with um, Michelle, and you see it with, uh, what's her name, Cynthia. Um, I think that their time is just coming. You know, I believe Michelle is a top fighter, but not top five, and I do believe I'm top five. I, I think I'm just going to go out there and impress my will on her everywhere the fight goes. Why do you think that is? Often when they push someone, things don't go their way. Why do you think that happens? I don't know. Um, you know, people like cute faces. I mean, she has a cute face. Uh, she's a mom. I, I see, you know, she's marketable, but, you know, there's other fighters out there, you know, who have cute faces. <laughs> um, you want some of that love. Um, yeah, but it really doesn't matter, honestly. Like, my, when I go out there and I fight, that showcases my skill, and I'm happy where I'm at. Um, whether or not they want to push me, that's all right, but my skills will, you know, make them have to push me. You both have been around the sport for quite some time. Is this a fight that you've always kind of thought of, that you've always wanted? Yeah, just because of our styles. You know, she has a karate background, so do I. So I think it's a really cool matchup. So that's why I've wanted it so for so long. And with her, you know, hype and stuff, uh, it's really good to, you know, stop hype train. So. Yes. You know, one thing I've always wanted to ask you, I believe as we stand here today in 2017, you're tied for the most tested fighter by USADA in the UFC. I think it's 14, right? And there's a couple others, maybe TJ Dillashaw and one more. They keep coming at your door. Yeah. You keep passing. Yes. Why do you think they keep coming to you? I don't know. Last year, I believe I was tested like eight or nine times. Then this year, that article went out when I was tested about 10 times, saying I was the most tested athlete of 2017. Now I've been tested 14 times, maybe even 15, but I believe it's 14. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just like really small and really muscular. I've been this way my whole life. You know, I've dealt with bullying, you know, throughout middle school and high school because of my athletic build. So you know what? You guys can keep coming because I've never even taken anything. I just started taking a memory and focus supplement because my memory is terrible. Oh. And I take a daily vitamin. Besides that, I don't take it. Oh, I take a probiotic now, too, to help with my skin. Um, and I, the only reason I take those is because Raquel suggested I take them, you know, to help me or whatnot. So I'm doing that. But besides that, I've never taken any protein drinks, nothing. This is all natural. And I'm just, you know, a ball of muscle. <laughs> So do you take this as a compliment or an insult that they keep coming to you? You know, uh, I've had issues on The Ultimate Fighter with people saying that I did things and I had them telling me that I was throwing up, to, you know, that I was on steroids and I've never thrown up before, I've never been on steroids, you know, it's just, I think it's just people who are, you know, jealous, jealous of what I have. Um, unfortunately, things do come a little bit easier to me genetically and I'm not going to pay for that, but um, I'll continue to show them that I'll continue to pass all these drug tests so they can come whenever they want because there will never be anything bad. Is it the same tester every time? Um, generally it's the same guy. Oh, wow. I've, yeah. That's amazing. So now you're like on a first name basis. Oh yeah, for sure. And now I feel terrible because Raquel like went from being tested maybe like three or four times last oh, no. year to about 10 this year because we live together yeah. and we're together. Okay. So that really sucks for her. But um, you know, it is what it is. But um, I believe in uh, true fairness and a clean sport. So they can continue to test me as long as they continue to test all of my opponents. By the way, I know she's standing right over there, but how is Raquel doing after her accident? Uh, she's doing a lot better. Um, fortunately, uh, it wasn't as severe as we thought it would be. We thought she'd need surgery or she'd have drop foot or there's even a possibility of her leg being amputated, unfortunately. But uh, like I said, fortunately, um, she's recovering. She did break her leg, her fibula, but um, the recovery's been going well, and we look forward to her return uh, in the spring.
And you mentioned you take a memory loss pill. Why is that? Is that as a result of fighting? A memory and focus pill. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's from fighting, but I do have a terrible memory. And Did you always have a terrible memory? Um, I believe like I've had some type of memory like loss or whatnot, but um, I feel like it's getting worse. But honestly, I don't feel like I get hit that much when I fight. Right, so that, that so like I don't know where the you know correlation is. But I did ask to do the TBI study because um, I know they do it through the Cleveland Clinic. So I actually just did it a few weeks ago, and my study came back clear. So I'll continue to be in that study. Um, this year, I guess, was just like to tell me where I'm at, and then next year they can actually see if there's any changes since I've never been in the study previously. But um, we'll see how it goes from here. But I, I you know. Unfortunately, with this sport, I don't know if it's from getting hit or if it's just I have bad memory, but uh, I feel like there's something there. Lastly, do you feel, I mean, a victory is big over Michelle Watterson, given her name and stature, but do you feel like you have to do something spectacular? Do you have to finish her to really cement your place here? Uh, you know, typically, like, when a fighter's on a winning streak and it's a few decisions, it doesn't quite do it in this sport, as weird as that may be. Do you feel like you need to finish in this fight? I wouldn't say I need to finish her, but... Personally, I do want to finish. I want to go in there and I want to fight her at all costs. You know, I want to continue to hit her once I hit her the first time. I would like to stop it to be another submission or TKO, KO, whatever it is. But I really believe I will be able to impose my will and I'll just be faster and stronger and more athletic than her. So I see the fight being a win for me and being a quick win. All right. Best of luck. Thank Looking you. forward to it. Thank you.